my channel. Today I am in the kitchen making blackberry syrup. Um, I had picked some blackberries a little while ago and didn't have time to do anything with them, so I juiced them and then I froze it. And this morning I pulled the juice out of the freezer. It's all thawed now. I'm just gonna measure it out. This is a pretty easy recipe, but it goes on ratios. So I always wanna keep that in mind. Um, that is perfect, it's a cup. Okay, so I am going to get my heat going with one cup of juice here. And then to this, I'm gonna add some syrup. I'm gonna go with about a third cup of syrup. Um, you can use regular sugar. I'm trying to get as much away as possible from regular sugar. Ooh, one third cup. So I'm using syrup. Um, I have found with things like this, I prefer the taste of syrup to something like honey. Um, it really doesn't taste mapley at all. It just works just fine and it sweetens just enough. So if you use regular sugar, I would still go with a third of a cup. Then the main thing with this is just to boil it down. That's really all you're doing with most syrups. Um, any fruit syrup is just, it's just the fruit juice and sugar boiled down. I am adding a little bit of pinch of salt a very small pinch of salt. And I'll add a tiny bit of lemon, just a wee bit of juice, maybe a teaspoon. Not much, I'll use the rest of this in tacos tonight. And this is a waiting game. You're just waiting for it to boil, stirring it so that it doesn't burn while it's boiling. And then it'll re reduce down and get thick and syrupy and I will show you what that looks like when it happens. So this is, this is the thin, I just put it in. And I'll show you when it boils what it looks like. So if you can see through the steam, this is boiling, it is not yet thick like a syrup, so it's not. I'm stirring it, this is where you have to be aware of, so you don't want it to burn, um, but you don't um, stop here because it's not yet a syrup. Okay, while it's boiling down, let me tell you some of the things you could do with this, in case you're wondering, besides pancakes and waffles, because that is definitely something we enjoy. I actually jotted a few things down here. So, um, Pancakes, waffles, also crepes. You can also put it on ice cream, of course. Um, you can use it for your lemonade. You want a blackberry lemonade? Use the fruit syrup. If you do that, you want to cut back on the amount of sugar you use in your regular lemonade recipe, and then just add this to it. Um, you can use it to sweeten tea, make a blackberry iced tea, blackberry uh, cocktails. Um, you can use it as a flavoring syrup on snow cones instead of the store-bought ones, you know, that are full of all the junk. You can swirl it into yogurt. Um, you can glaze cheesecakes with it and also other desserts. Uh, you can make a margarita. Blackberry margaritas are good. You can flavor, make like a homemade soda with either putting this with something like 7-Up or club soda or sparkling water. You can put it in hot cocoa. I've done that with pomegranate syrup too, which makes it really good. Really good flavored one in the winter. Um, you can make a marinade with it. Just about anything that uses the fruit juice in a marinade, you could replace it with this. Um, you can make that poke cake, you know what I'm talking about, where you like make a cake and you poke holes with a skewer and then you pour a fruit syrup or something all over it and you let it sink in. Um, you can make a, oh, you can dip grilled fruit in it, that's really good. Um, you can also put a little bit, all the way cool, put a little bit in some whipped cream and make a flavored whipped cream, that's fancy. Um, you can put it in oatmeal. You can also, if you make your own granola and you use, um, I use like maple syrup when I make granola, you could replace the syrup with this. You can also use it in to flavor an iced coffee or a mocha, make a blackberry mocha. Um, those are just about all the ways I came up with. If you have another idea, put it down below. Also, there is a, I will link to the printable recipe for this if you want it down below. It is starting to reduce now. It has been about 10 minutes. It took like three minutes to get all the way up to a boil. It's been about 10 minutes that it's been boiling and it's reducing. So it should be close to 
um, syrup pretty darn soon. Okay, so um, it has been 12 minutes since I first turned on the stove and this is what I'm looking for right here. It's bubbly, the bubbles move slower because it's thicker. If you go like this, stuff's kind of slow to seep back in and cover the bottom of the pan. And this is what I call, it's close to a thinner syrup, but this is where I take it off the heat. Um, it's close to a thinner syrup, but this is where I leave it because as it cools, it will get ever so slightly um, thicker. And you don't wanna make a thick, thick syrup like this and then it cools and hardens into candy. So at this point, pull you back up here. At this point, I am going to um, just add a little bit of vanilla. I don't put much in and I don't put it in until it's removed from the heat because that will evaporate and kind of not taste right. Add a teaspoon of vanilla. And at this point, I just feel it cool. Let's see if I can taste it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I might have to go ahead and make like an iced blackberry mocha with it right now. So I decided to bring you along for the ride. So I just brewed a really strong cup of coffee and I put chocolate syrup a little bit in the bottom of the mug so that the hot coffee would like make it melt into it. I added some half and half. I filled my cup with ice and dumped that over it. And that's why you want it to be strong coffee because ice can melt and I didn't have any coffee cubes. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of the blackberry syrup. That is good. Mm. Printable recipe for the syrup is below, and I will see you on the next video.